Hi everyone, Sketch 67 just got released, which allows you to embed fonts into your files. This is going to be great for design systems or distributed teams, so let's go and have a look. And here we are in Sketch. You can see I'm on 67.1, so you might want to make sure you've got the same version as me before you continue. I'm in my design system called Desin. This is a free design system that I'll put a link to in the description of this video. That you can grab and follow along if you like, or just do this on your own files. Okay, so in my system I have Montserrat, and over here I have Source Sans Pro. If I open Fontbook, you can see them both here at the bottom. Now, if I make a design system like this one, or a file that uses this design system, and the person who is downloading it or who I send it to or make available to on my team doesn't have these fonts installed on their computer locally, they're not going to be able to see what the fonts are supposed to look like in the file. So that looks like it's changed in Sketch 67. So let's go and see how we can embed the fonts and make that no longer an issue. I'm going to go up to the menu, up here to text, Select it, go down to Document Fonts. And up the top here, it pretty much tells you what to expect. Embedding fonts ensures text renders accurately when sharing designs on cloud or with others. This feature supports non-system fonts in most OpenType and TrueType formats. But down here, I've got Montserrat and Source Sense Pro and then not embedded in a select box next to them. So I'm just gonna drop that down and select Embed in Document. Okay, are you sure you want to embed Montserrat? Yeah, I'm pretty sure, but you have to have a valid license for any fonts you are embedding and the rights to distribute copies to others. So make sure you've got those licenses in place if you're using fonts that aren't from like Google Fonts or, or free. I'm just gonna select, I agree to the terms and policies and then select proceed. And I'm gonna do that with the other two. Let's select done, and I'm just gonna save the file. And at this point, I'm gonna open my components library as well and see if everything's okay. And in my components library, I've added a camera view recently that uses a font that's not actually in the fundamentals library. So that would be San Francisco Pro Text and Compact. So I'm gonna go up to text and document fonts again and embed everything it can find. And next I'm gonna go check a UI kit I've been building that uses my fundamentals and components library and see what happens there. And in the UI kit file, let's do the same. Go up to text, document fonts, and embed everything. Select done, save. And the next step here would be to close Sketch, open Fontbook, disable those fonts, and see if all the fonts are still there. So let's go do that. And here in the computer section, I'm gonna select all of San Francisco, Right click and select disable fonts. Yep, go to user, select Apicu, Montserrat and Source Sans Pro. Now Montserrat and Source Sans Pro are the main typefaces for my design system. So let's right click and disable these as well. Okay, so let's reopen Sketch and see if we can still use them all. And we're gonna work our way backwards from this UI kit to the components library to the fundamentals library. And up the top right, you would normally get a missing fonts alert, but we don't see anything there. So everything still must be embedded in the document. Fantastic. Let's open the components library and there's no missing font alert there either. Let's go to the fundamentals library and everything looks fine here too. So like I said in the intro, you can send this design system and any file that uses it like that UI kit or anything else you put together, to any member of your team or allow people to download it and they won't have font issues anymore. And considering that a lot of us are working remotely and we're not actually in our workplace where all of this stuff 
tends to just work. This is going to be a great improvement for remote and distributed teams. One of the other updates to Sketch 67 is the ability to rename cloud documents in the documents window. So I'm just going to double click on this one and type soft grid. And you can also grab local documents and drag them into the document window and they will be saved in the cloud. So I've got a Des and Chat archive file here just to test this out. I'm going to drag that into the document window. And it's going to upload. And I can see it here on Sketch for Teams. There you go. I can select an artboard, go over to Inspect, select that heading, and the Montserrat typeface is coming through on Sketch for Teams as well. And lastly, you can now use Smart, Distribute, and Tidy on elements that are not in the same group. So I'm going to select this 16 pixel spacer, the element underneath it, and the 8 pixel one underneath that. And Tidy is set to zero. I can then bump that up to four if I want, or back to zero, or do it manually. Fantastic. All right. So now we've got embedded fonts and files. So that's better for design systems and distributed teams. We've got the ability to rename and then drag new documents into your documents folder, which will save them to the cloud. The embedded fonts actually work in the cloud and we can use tidy on elements that aren't in the same folders. And that's the latest updates in Sketch 67. Okay, hope you like this video. I hope you're looking after yourselves and each other. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.